Hello everyone. Welcome again. Uh, this is another program in the same series of fetching the livestock price uh, using web scrapping. In the previous tutorials, I have uh, fetched the live stock price of the NSC stock uh, website actually. Uh, but in this program, I am going to use uh, Yahoo India, Yahoo India Finance website. In the previous uh, NSC, there are complaints from the few of the viewer that when the code is not working, and even I checked that when uh, uh, their their concern was genuine, I saw that code was not working. But it is not because of the code issue. Uh, it is because of uh, maybe I think that when uh, NSC has increased the security, and because of that, this issue was coming actually. I added modified a little bit code actually added headers actually, and uh, now it is working. But you please check it actually. Uh, I find this Yahoo is much better uh, compared to the um, accessing the livestock price from the NSC because actually I found even I found a couple of type the issues actually. So uh, I thought to use Yahoo, but I don't know that if they also increase the security and uh, that we cannot use the web scrapping that that could be a challenge. So let us start again. I'm going to write this code in the Python. So I will start with the. Uh, um, uh, the Jupyter Notebook uh, and again I'm going to use two libraries that is a request to uh, for the HTML request in the Python and beautiful soup to pass the HTML uh, request so HTML content you can pass using beautiful soup library um, it's a Python library if you don't have you face an issue just pip install and b e a u beautiful full so your soup or you can see that what is the uh, package name actually and you can install it I think that when my previous video I have given some detail actually but on but it is it is basically very simple you can just search on the web how to install a uh, beautiful soup using pip and you will get the command mm -hmm. so let me start with the Jupyter notebook meanwhile I will open um, Chrome for the so this is uh, this is uh, sorry. This is the Jupyter notebook. Chrome is here. So Yahoo India. I'm going to use Yahoo India stock price. You can see that when this is the Yahoo India stock price. Uh, if you are using this program in your country in a different country other than India, then maybe you have to make little changes because actually that when you can see that when if I'm using this URL, then it is the in dot finance dot yahoo dot com. So maybe you have to make small changes as per your country URL actually. In case if there is any change once you put the stock code so if I put um, some stock code like uh, Reliance Industries Limited and I can see that one this stock code actually okay so um, how I'm going to access this stock code if I right click and I do inspect so you can see that one Um, where is the stock? This is see so if I click on the element selection actually, and I click here. So you can see that when this is the span class uh, where this price is showing one nine one one seven zero. So what I have to do that when using this HTML request, I have to you can see that I have to download a full a copy of the HTML code, same code actually to the local system, and then using beautiful soup, I need to parse. We have to parse it and find this line actually and that is the way that we can going to get the price actually you will understand it soon actually so let me start with the python notebook this program is going to be very small compared to my previous program because in a previous i have given a little bit more detail to explain web scrapping and all the things you can definitely watch that with those, vi those video it will be helpful but here it will be uh, straightforward so let me start with the new notebook python 3 and let me import two libraries that is import request requs request and uh, beautiful soup that is uh, from bs4 import beauty soup shift enter if i press that one it will execute those commands if no error it will be silent some error it is not silent req E S T S yes okay no error good next what I have to do that one I'm going to define a variable stock code 
is equal to I have give some like reliance I was searching there so I will give the reliance code itself here this is the stock code okay and another thing is I'm going to use this URL copy so stock URL is equal to I'll copy paste here I'm not going to use this URL as it is because I want to use the variable so that I can use this uh, for even different different uh, stocks plus hope everything is fine So how you can check everything is fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to print it. Print the stock URL, okay, and execute it. So it will print this URL, and if I click this URL and I get the desired detail, then everything is fine. So I got this one, okay. Close it. Next is I'm going to send a HTTP request to download the code using request library. So response is called to request r e q u e s t s request dot get and i'm going to give this complete url s t o c stock url okay so if uh, you know that when in any um, uh, web based request if you send the request and if the request is successful response is successful the response code is 200 so here also if if the response is successful the code should be 200 let us see that one response 200 so this means everything is fine okay now i got the code actually where is the code where is the html page dump of the html page if i do response dos text then you can see that one this is the dump actually now what i'm going to do with this dump i'm going to pass this whole dump to the i'm going to give it to the soup actually and soup is going to pass and then using various soup method we can extract different different things actually what we can extract i will explain you okay so first we got this one actually and uh, then I'm going to use beautiful soup so soup is equal to beautiful soup and I'm going to pass this response text what after response text and I'm going to use parser there is a multiple parsers are there I'm going to use parser HTML I'm using HTML parser because I read it as a quite fast because some other parsers are also there L, L XML or all things actually okay and if I type soup and everything is fine I will again get some dump similar to the previous one but it is a parsed one actually and uh, now this means that one now this content soup understand beautiful soup understand and using various soup method I can just uh, access the stock price so now if I go back to the uh, here uh, you see that when this price is coming under this uh, span class and this is the ID of this span class what I have to do that I'm going to do that one uh, I'm going to list all these span class actually how I'm going to do that one soup dot find all okay and if I say span so actually here where are the span classes are there? It's going to list all the span classes. This is the beauty of the beautiful soup actually. Now I'm, it is very organized actually. See that one. You got all the span class actually. Here, if you see that one, uh, where is the price actually? In some, some span class, your price should be there actually. This price uh, which I was showing you here, 1911.70, it should be there in some of the span class. Uh, because I showed you that one here it is in the span class okay and span id is also there actually let me go back again down and see that one see here actually okay so what i'm going to do that one i'm going to just copy paste and rather than uh, copy rather than displaying now you got it actually this one that under this span uh, id 
uh, the price is visible. So this is true for all these stock price actually, and the same ID it will be available. So I'm going to do that in S O U P swoop dot find all. Okay, and span, and I'm going to copy it here. So it's a kind of filter, but it is not going to work as it is a kind of dictionary. So it, you have to I have to give in the dictionary little, little bit dictionary format class. Okay, and to close it here also, I think. Yeah, Amir, what error I did here? Okay, this is not required. This is not. This doesn't come under the ID. remove it and you got this only this line this is span class actually where the price is there actually now what is the type of this uh, output actually if we see that when it is kind of request result set actually okay so we need to form in the list so what we are going to do that one we are going to take zeroth element of this one and that is the because it's the only element but it will come in the form of list actually so you see that one now the bracket square bracket is gone if you see that in previous there was a square bracket because of the uh, result set actually so I, if i put zero the bracket is gone i'm pressing shift enter to execute the command for your information you can execute the program from here also like a run command you can click but that is uh, kind of click click but here it is a fast so now if i just add a text see all these things coming from the beautiful soup so text will give what is the text this is the text actually because the rest of the things are id but this is a variable part so this is a variable part is the text so it will return this one hope so i got it actually okay so this is the uh this is the price of the stock price i got it so let me just do start i mean repeat the whole thing from starting but actually i'm going to basically shortcut the code actually i'm going to keep this stock variable as it is and this whole url copy And I'm going to use this whole URL as it is. So mistake I did. Two time copied. Copy this whole URL. And paste it here. Okay, remove this part no need to print it again okay and copy this one also response part also put it here okay i'm going to remove this one here also from here click it cut it not required this one also cut it tick then i'm going to keep the beautiful support i'm not going to print all the things actually these are all the things i just given you for for, for the explanation so i'm going to copy this line copy and put it here okay and uh, i'm going to remove this line also cut i'm going to remove this line also cut okay i'm going to remove this line also cut now i'm going from starting shift enter shift enter shift enter and the price is available now you can see that one what is the total size of the program it is one two three four five six seven line of the programs maybe two lines any program you write you need to add some library i'm going to just change it for the some other stock price to verify that program is working fine what i can give that one ashok ashok leland limited So I'm going to take the code of Shokla Land, 
copy and paste it here shift enter shift enter what is the mistake why it is giving sorry the mistake is here i should not give this one actually because i already have given my program is reduced further okay 51.75 find any other simple code sbin 188.20 let us verify in one eight eight dot two zero everything is working fine um since this is coming as a string i believe let me try that one if i can convert to the float f l o a t float if everything is fine it will be a float value yes it is float so you can see that one double quote is gone so this is your small program which you can use anywhere you can write a small function and you can use this one uh, to print this top price okay hope this program is quite simple and uh, uh, I will in the next video uh, I will try to convert it to the Python code in the class form and so that uh, we can use uh, uh, this this piece of the code in a much better way and even there is a lot of request to fetch the historical uh, stock price and uh, nifty data and all the things I will definitely show all those code uh, in the coming days I was a bit busy in a couple of days since last few months because of the official work so definitely you are going to get more videos thank you thank you for your uh, appreciation thank you